Okay, this is Meet a Tree Center 5. Make a tree. This is the craft center. You can tell because there's all the craft supplies in the bin. If you run out, a good place to check is the extra elf supplies bin. And if you're running low on that, it's super, super important to email Carrie or myself or MitchellElf at gmail.com and let us know that we're running low. Um, that way the next group has their craft supplies. The outline is on the lid, as always, and included in here in the bin um, is a re really great book called Trees that has some examples of um, life cycles of trees and just great pictures for showing the kids to get them inspired about what they could do creatively with a tree. There's a book called From Little Acorns, A First Look at the Life Cycle of a Tree, and another book called Starting Life, Tree. And you could um, either read these at the beginning or read them after the kids have finished their craft or as kids are slowly finishing their craft and some are done and some are not, you could read those and go over them. There's also information um, things to talk about how trees grow. I don't know that you'd necessarily read all of this, but you could just share parts of information. Um, it talks about the main parts of a tree and defines them and tells them what they do. Um, there's a great picture in there too that does that. And so that's that handout. And then there's also, or outline, and then there's also um, one about photosynthesis. These are information sheets just to help you have things to talk about and keep them focused on um, learning about trees while they're doing the craft. Sometimes the craft center is the first thing they go to and they don't know a lot about trees yet so that's why it's important to um, give them that information. So there are two craft choices. One is make a tree which is this one. You make a tree out of a paper bag and tissue paper. And the other one is make an edible tree. And this one is made out of frosting and pretzels and popcorn. And so um, the directions for these are pretty self-explanatory. I will show you quickly how to um, make your paper bag turn into that tree. So here we go. You We'll get a paper bag and each kid will get a pair of scissors and sit down Max. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you're going to just cut a part way down the bag and make about four or five cuts. And then, you've got your four or five cuts. You're going to reach inside and open up your bag. And then just below the cuts, you're going to kind of squash it together like that. And then you can twist it so it kind of looks like a old bristle cone tree trunk. And then, you can either have students crunch each one individually like that and they all just start to crunch and kind of become their own or you could crunch them all up at once and then pull them apart and stretch them out into the tree branches maybe that maybe there was a storm and that one broke. <laughs> All right, so there's your tree. Then you'll take some tissue paper and tear it up. And you could maybe do that ahead of time or cut it into squares ahead of time. And then you'll glue it with white glue. And with the younger kids, I'd highly recommend just doing little dots of glue and helping them. This might be a sensor if you have an extra person, you could use that extra person to help you with the gluing. Um, for the older kids, it's up to you. They can probably do the glue themselves. Um, but then you'll end up with 
a tree. This one happens to be um, a fall tree and they can take that home. Super important thing to do, and that's why Sharpies are included, is to write their name on the bottom of this. And then last but not least, if you do the edible treat, um, you start with, at home I would mix, or before I would mix up the white frosting. If you want to do grass in the sky, you don't have to do grass in the sky. You can just do a plain tree if you want. And then the chocolate frosting, when I made this tree, I um, just used the popsicle stick and spread it on. And I didn't use a fork to make the bark more rough and three-dimensional, but I did use pretzel sticks and popcorn and for the blossoms, kind of like a spring tree. Um, if you have things you want to add and do um, and be creative with this, that's great. Um, then it's up to you and your group and the teacher probably as well if you want to have them eat this at the center or if you want to have them eat it during during the conclusion if you're like if your conclusion is reading a story or something like that they could eat it then or they could save it and eat it later in the day um a couple of thoughts would be that popcorn is not always a classroom's best friend so be super careful with cleanup and the mess that gets made with it and um and I think that's about it. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, you can email us at mitchellelf at gmail.com. Have fun. Go trees!